Hello, my friend. Uh, I'm coming to you again from Maryland. I will for a few more days uh, from the estate sale of my dear mother. And as you know, these things take a lot longer than what you originally think. This is poetry by Martha Smock, and I've always loved this. Listen to these words. Could we but see the pattern of our days? We should discern how devious were the ways by which we came to this, the present time. We should forget the hurts, the wanderings, and the fears, and know that we could come no other way or grow into our good without these steps our feet found hard to take. Often our feet find steps that we must take hard to take. But as we remember these words, we also remember that God is always present, always active in our lives. And because God is always present, so is divine justice. Knowing this, we can meet any situation with profound faith. We release painful memories and we allow healing to take place. And as we do so, we discover that what appears to be terribly difficult and unjust is but a stepping stone to our own growth and unfoldment to our good. Therefore, we do not judge people and conditions by outer appearances alone, for such images offer such a limited view, such a human view that is almost blind to, to the good that God has to offer. There is so much to consider that appears just below the surface of what we see. Every person and everything in the world is a creation of God, and therefore the activity of God is at work in all people and in all situations, no matter what the appearances may be. Simply stated, everyone and everything is connected to God. You are one with God, and all others are one with God. When you look at other people, know that beyond their words and actions, they are God's creations of light and love. And you treat others following God with loving kindness only. No matter what you're dealing with yourself, you respond to people and situations with an awareness of God's presence within them. As you reach out in love, you give them a blessing. And love returns to you, and you are richly blessed. And I pray this week that you're richly blessed in all ways, in good ways, in ways beyond what you can even imagine right now.